Firstly, let's get into the materials. You'll need felt and matching lining, and I made mine in two different colors, which is why I showed them both. Scissors, measuring tape, a pencil, rhinestone pickup tool, hardware adhesive like E6000 glue, rhinestones, a variety of different sized pearls, and a sewing machine. You're gonna start by laying out your felt and determining the diameter of your hat. So a typical beret is about 12 inches and I made mine 13 to leave some room for seam allowance. Then you're gonna sketch your circle out. You can use a compass if you wanna be precise or you can just freehand it. Then you'll cut out your circle. Be sure to make it as neat as possible then you'll make a new circle by tracing the first one. Next, you're gonna take one piece of felt and fold it in half. You're gonna mark points at three and a half inches from the edge. You're gonna fold your piece in half once again as if you were making a snowflake and cut out the circle from the middle. So the cutout piece will be your head hole. Have some straight pins ready and pin the top of the hat to the lining. Ignore the black lining under there. I'm just making two hats at a time. <laughs> so you're gonna cut out your lining pieces. Once you're done with that, you can remove your pins. And now you're just gonna cut out the head hole for the lining. For the little stem at the top, you're just gonna find the center of the hat and cut a very small hole. Now you're gonna pin your two felt pieces together and do the same thing for the lining, but make sure the right sides are facing each other. Now you can sew your felt hat pieces together and it doesn't matter which way they're facing because they're the same. Then you'll cut off about a quarter inch from the seam allowance. This is just so that it doesn't look as messy. Once you're done with that, you can sew your lining pieces together. For the stem, you're gonna roll a small piece of felt about an inch long. and stitch it together vertically. Then you'll stick it through the tiny cut on the top of the hat. And make sure the stem is facing upward on the right side of the hat. Then you'll tack the stem to the hat and cut off your loose threads. All right, so you're basically done. You're gonna pin the lining to the felt part of the hat and make sure your right sides are facing each other. You can kind of make a little basket like this. It's a bit easier. Now you can sew your panels together, leaving about half an inch seam allowance. Make sure to leave two inches so that you can pull the hat through. And once you pull it through, it looks like this. So you're gonna pin the open edge that you left to pull the hat through. And you're gonna stitch together with a clean finish. This clean finish can go all the way around so that the lining doesn't slip through while wearing. Okay, so now my hats are done. They look like pancakes. Now for the fun part, I'm gonna add pearls to the ivory beret. And I'm just gonna apply a variety of different sizes. Give
get creative with this part since it's totally up to you. Now for the black beret, I used rhinestones and I just applied them in a somewhat neat order. I went a little crazy for the amount of rhinestones I used because I wanted it to have a 90s vibe. So that's it for these embellished berets. I wasn't sure how these were gonna come out when I first started, but I'm pretty happy with the results. They're a cute way to make your outfits both sparkly and chic. Thanks so much for watching and please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this.